Welcome. No. Oh. Hello and welcome to another Mind Colonies Colonial Age. Today we're here with John. Say hello, John. Hello, John. <laughs> so John was quite concerned about how he's going to look in the camera because they say that the camera adds a few pounds. I have to say the iron armor adds a, a few more. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I probably should just for the for the folks so you can see where, where, how I look without my armor. On. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, that removes a few pounds as well. <laughs> now, we had quite some progress here with the colony. So we set up the restaurant here. And I think Sean employed uh, Amelia for a cook as well. Although I think Amelia is quite overqualified with her stats. <laughs> well, we needed someone to run the place. Yeah. I mean, a, a good cook keeps the citizens happy as well, right? We also. Harrison, what do you want, Harrison? <laughs> Probably some iron, some stairs. We also set up some stairs down here, so we can have our farms on the lowest level here. I think it's quite realistically, since we don't have much space on a mountain. It's probably also not very realistic to have a farm on a mountain unless it's wine or something like that. Yeah. We have plenty of farmland down there. So. Oh. Sleep, time. sleep really quick. The server has been quite popular as well from the patrons. I have to say we have usually around five, six, seven people online of the patrons building their colonies here, and I've, I saw a few of the colonies. They look quite nice as well. So. Clipboard out and see if anyone's got an open request. No, we. Got Gerald wants another pickaxe. Oh, yeah. We got set up here the town hall as well. It's a level 1 town hall of the tiger style. Going to upgrade it soon. Let me click upgrade to level 2 already as well. And we got a few citizen huts here. Like a few. The level 2 hut here. And behind it another level 1 hut. And I'm just in the progress of setting up the neck next one around here Let me put it here as we saw in the last videos it's quite difficult to set up the things with those shaders I actually am in the progress of checking out some other shaders where they have a different sky rendering it's actually a really big problem to make compatibility for the shaders since each of the shaders they render things in their own way so we kind of try to make it compatible, but it's not as easy. Uh, Orion spent, I think, a few days on it together with a few, uh, 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 together with a guy of the Optifine devs who helped him out on it. But it's much better than previously, where you just had those light artifacts. So kind of can see where the hut is going to go. So. Okay. I'm get my scroll out so you can see what they, what Gerald, what Harrison needs. Oh, you got a scroll for the builder already. Oh, I definitely didn't have to make one of those. Yeah. I got a clipboard, but it keeps showing the same two requests, and I don't know if it's broken for me or what. Yeah, there seems to be some issue with this again. I thought we fixed it, but it seems to be a communication error. So, so as you guys probably noticed, we've had a bunch of updates lately where we added a whole bunch new workers, which is the stone smelter, which is the guy who is going to put things in furnaces for you, specifically stone. He won't put um, glass in the furnace for you, for example. That's going to be another worker. We made the blacksmith, which is going to make tools and everything, which is at least significantly made out of ingots. And the stone mason, which is going to do stone recipes like stone slabs, stone stairs, these kinds of things. And the sawmill, something which is a bit longer ago, which is going to do the same thing as the stone mason, but just stone recipes, uh, just wooden recipes for him. And 
At the moment, I'm working on making a research system. So, similar to Age of Empires, etc. Where you would be able to research something to improve your colony, like having faster guards, guards with more armor, and these kinds of things. I'm going to publish probably in the next days the small research tree about so it like as well. Tech tree? Yes, exactly. I. So I could... Yeah. Okay. That sounds like fun. I actually finished the, pe the tech tree already, or at least the initial version of it, and I finished implementing the tech tree as well. The main problem is that now I gotta think about how I'm going to display it in the Minecraft GUI, which is a bit limiting. So that's what's holding me from pushing this further, so I'm still brainstorming how I'm going to do this. But it's going to have a tech tree, where there's going to be a civilian tech tree, where it's going to affect the citizen stats and these kinds of things. Oops. One second. I did something here. And a combat tech tree, which is mainly for your archers and knights and future other combat workers and a technology tree which is going to be to unlock certain buildings so some things is going to change a bit so for certain workers like the crafters the smelters and the library these kinds of workers you would then need a research although if you already have the building it won't affect you it just will affect that you won't be able to place the hut anymore then. So I think that's fine as well. Now I gotta just find again where the citizen hut ended up inside this. So let's check out here. Oh, that was quick. So we got Anastasia and Gerald. So, so Gerald is our miner, Harrison is our builder, Anastasia is our shepherd. Shepherd, shepherdess. And I have no idea what is the name of her lumberjack. It's Benjamin. Mr. Crocker. Okay. Yeah. And he wants an axe. I think it's Jasmine is our cook. Jasmine is our. Well, no, it it was Emily, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, Amelia. Uh, wow. Amelia, Anastasia yes. Anastasia is a, a... How are you doing, Anastasia? She's still... Now, she's not great. She's got all ones for her, for her skills, but you know what? She's uh, she's doing okay with her sheep. She's decent wheat, it looks like. Yeah, she's level 7 already. So those... The stats they have, here you can see, she is... Yeah. The first one of our citizens was spawned and she had the bad luck to spawn with all ones. Now these stats, it me, it's kind of what influences their leveling speed. So the better the stats are for their job, the faster the level and the higher the level is, the faster they work. So it's kind of, it's not like terrible, terrible if they don't have the right skills for the job. But it definitely helps if you have higher stats for the worker, since they're going to level way faster. Oh wow! All our wheat down here is is harvestable, so I'm gonna be harvesting wheat. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to need the seeds as well for the farmer then. Although I guess we probably have a bunch of them already. Yeah. Well. Uh, okay. My no my my volume's too loud. Give me a second. <laughs> so as you've seen we had quite some progress so most buildings are level 2 here the shepherd is on level 2 the lumberjack is maybe even level 3 already let me double check that level 3 already and Benjamin still needs an axe let me get an axe for him quickly it's here Um, yeah, if you 
will visit my colony one day, you're going to see crafting tables all over the place. So I'm just too lazy to work somewhere to craft and it's just more useful like that. But you like when the schematics have crafting tables in them, even if the worker doesn't need it, it's useful for the player. Check. Check the builder. He needs some spruce stairs. Um, giving him some spruce stairs as well. Here. And there you go. He's building the guard tower. As you've seen the guard tower, he is coming along as well. He's going to level 2 now. And sorry Kriegsel for using as well again. Four stacks of seeds, so yay. <laughs> this citizen hut is on level two. Um, and there's something wrong with those doors here. Level two. Harrison and Benjamin are having a living arrangement here. Um, something else we're working on as well is having citizens um, have babies. So. That you don't have um, citizens randomly spawning anymore. That after the four initial citizens, most of the citizens you're going to get is through having them kind of reproduce. So the rules would be initially quite simple. Having just, if there is a free bed in a building and there is a woman living there, she's going to have a baby. We're probably going to make the baby have like a mixture of the name of the, f the father and mother. Something like that would probably be quite interesting. What do you think, John? Yeah. That's I like that. As long as you don't go into the territory of Minecraft alive, that that mod drove me up up the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Minecraft Alive, for those of you not familiar, was a mod created so that you'd have more lively villagers. Only they were so lively they drove you up the wall and they bred like rabbits. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the idea is to actually have it limited by the citizen hut sizes. So if you don't build more citizen huts, our citizens are going to be very consci uh, conscientious about the limits of the town and won't have any more children. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Basically, if you got if, if if you got ten beds then you're gonna have 10 citizens, is what you're saying. Exactly, and of, out of those there will be a certain amount of kids which you can't employ yet, and which will be running around in the colony, for which we have the plan to add some kind of school. So, if you yeah, send... The library, the library sort is a school. Yeah, the, the idea would actually having a school only for the kids, where they would level up their stats just quicker than in the library. I mean, I mean, I actually, I, that's an idea I had. I think I've mentioned that before, and in in, on the either the forums or in the Discord group, I'm I'm well. mentioning that as a possibility. Where, yeah, kids grow up and they learn, and they may have certain skill tendencies. So, exactly, yeah. Would we force them into jobs, or would they pick a job that they want to do? It's it might be interesting to if you have a school at a certain level you can kind of select for a kid to learn certain skills. Might be an, an interesting perk. We have a new person, Olivia. What are you good at, Olivia? Olivia? It doesn't oh. matter. You're going to be a guard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, Let's see. What, sending her to the front the lines. Ranger? Our rangers, I think, more productive here on the, on the hills. Yeah. So I'll make sure it's up for ranger. We have. And do we want her to patrol or just stand guard at a point? Mm, I would probably have her guard around the stairs here for now. Uh, you know, I can set, I can set patrol point for that. Could have her patrol some line through the colony as well. It's interesting as well to have her go up the stairs to the town hall, go down the stairs to the citizen hut, come back, check out the stairs. <laughs> There we go. I, I got the wand. Now let's see if I can use it. <laughs> so, uh, so it's, it's right click the set point. 
right? With the, with the, with the guard one. Right click the set point? Yes. Okay, there's... Oh, oh, you put a little flag there. Yay, thank you. Uh, have her go this way. Yeah, we render and... in the positions with the flag now. So... There, down the stairs a little bit. Mm. Stop here, and then we come back here. up. And the builder. Have her walk in front of the uh, restaurant. Exactly. Yep. Walk over to uh, Harrison's place and say hi. <laughs> and then oh, down here, and back to the guard shack. S Sounds like a right good trajectory. Finalize it, or left click to finalize. Um, just double click on the same location. Now right click as well. Double right click on the same location. There we go. That's it. Now we just I I got I got that remote thing, so I'll get her, I'll get her, I'll get her armored up. Nice. Right. Um, our builder is now building the farm over there. So this area here is going to be our farming area. I'm going to probably have around two farmers here, one here, one a bit to the side. And using this big plain area for the farms, I think, looks quite nice. And for nether portal now, I think this is going to be quite cheap to get. We're oh, going to she can't use iron armor, can she? She's she going to use leather armor. Yeah, she's not going to wear iron armor yet. Um, and we have no bows, do we have string? Do we have string? We have enough string, we can make her a bow. Okay, that's good. I'm going to go to the nether to get some nether materials we're going to need. Oof. So. The nether is a lot of noise, so let's, we need a bunch of those. Harrison, it's a perfectly good set of stairs. Why are you climbing down the hill like that? <laughs> oh yeah, since I coded that they basically can go down two blocks at a time. I think I even did it three blocks at a time. They're quite happy jumping directly because it costs them a lot less. Since they're coded that jumping costs a bit additionally. I think it uh, uses jumping up and down. So, jumping two down at at the time is much cheaper. Okay. I, I gotta find a a f nether fortress now. Oh, um, I think uh, awesome was that one. You may want to ask him where, where he saw his. Oh, where did you see the nether fortress? Doesn't seem to be in this direction here. It's quite funny since I'm using the screen of the recording software now. It's with the shaders the nether is quite dark and the recording software is a bit brighter. So it makes it easier to see. Ah, looking at all the waypoints that have been setting. We are the we are the southern are we the southernmost? Yeah, we are the southernmost colony. <laughs> I was everyone else is north of us. I was flying around a quite big area. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. Fortress. Let's check. Place the waypoint. Okay, let's kill this. This here. What? Let's kill them quickly. Nice. Um, I think I added this waypoint. Or didn't I? I think I did. Yes. And where is it? It seems that their fortress 
is so far away from my current position, it's not really worth getting to it. I'm actually wondering where our portal is. Not putting down a uh, waypoint, Ray. I don't want to go hunt hunt you down. Yeah. Hey, can you go to the Nether portal and place a waypoint? <laughs> Where? I did that. Maybe I'll just share it. I'll go through and, sh and share it. Oh, that's good enough. Okay. Now I'm seeing you. That's good enough. <laughs> Seeing you on the map. Uh, one of the, pl the waypoints as well. Perfect. I'm going to add that quite. Uh, I'm going to add this here as well. Exit. Nice. Rookie mistake number one, folks. Forgetting to put down a waypoint. I'm something. I'm really. I'm really good in finding my way out of ravines underground and the mine shafts, but the Nether for me is just terrible. And I just heard a ghast crying. That's because the nether... Sorry. No, don't worry. The nether looks everything the same, so... Yeah. Um, I go in nether when I really need things like quartz or glowstone. I usually used to place down, like, dirt blocks on the way. So... I can find my way out following the dirt blocks, but sometimes I just enter and forgot this tactics and get lost and learn to use the tactic again. So I'm placing dirt now along my way. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did you create another farm? No, I created a field. Ah, okay. Probably put it uh, on the other I side of the farms. of the hut. Probably a good idea. Well, there's a nice, nice flat area there, but there's also a nice flat area over there. Okay. And I still didn't find any fortress. No, no furthers in this direction. Hi, George. George is up here. For those who don't know, George is the, is the, uh, is the uh, pig man. Ah, George is the name of our new pig man. Better don't get hey, him George. confused with our miner then. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! What are you doing, George? George! Stop! Stop, George. What is he doing? He broke the door to the mud, to the to the builder's hut. Oh, pigmen can break doors. Uh oh. <laughs> Olivia. Okay. Is it a? You you sucker! You kill Olivia. Oh no! I don't believe it. <laughs> yeah, <just> me. <laughs> oh, did he kill Olivia? That's just that's not nice. That's not nice. Can we turn off Pigman in the GUI of the of the guards? Since there's an option on page yeah. two of the guard hat to turn off any mobs. Yeah, you know I'm gonna tell him to leave leave Pigman alone, as well as Enderman. Yeah, Enderman is always a good option to not bother too much for archers, especially. Yeah. <laughs> now, if we had some, if she had some armor, it, should, it would be a different thing. But she's still like level one. Oh, she's level two. Oh, I could level two. Can I give her iron armor or give them iron armor at level two? Mm, I think not so. But if you read the description of what she is uh, requesting. It should say the level she wants it. Mm -hmm. and go fix it. No Enderman, no Pigman. I 
think over there is a fortress. Okay. Luna also joined just in. She's the new responsible for the schematic server. So if something with her schematics is broken or is bothering you, you gotta blame Wissy for it and then ask Luna for help. Mm -hmm. no, we can blame Luna. <laughs> oh no, we we always blame Wissy, that's that's easier. Yeah, that's true. We always blame Wissy. Okay. Uh, There's also fix the door to the hut. So, oh. George, why'd you do that, George? Hmm. I still didn't find any fortress. Quite unlucky here. Uh, we, have a, uh, oh, we now have Noah. Noah. Whoosh! You found lava again? Nope. <laughs> I fell from a high place. Fall and go boom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I fell down because of that ghast which is throwing things off, uh, after me, and I just panicked and oh, jumped right. off a cliff. We have a mod that prevents us from uh, nerd polling, which can be a real pain. From what? The one, the mo one the mods prevent you from making nerd polls. Oh yeah, that one that is, is yeah. a pain. Yeah. All right, so I have Harrison needs some hay bales. Yeah, this mod is basically not allowing us to build up towers of materials which is in the most polite way a pain in other ways i'm not going to say but it keeps the environment cleaner that's the only thing the only good thing you can say about it <laughs> okay i got my stuff back wow I hope to not drop in this water lava over there because that's that's going to delete all my stuff. Our colonial age server is quite vanilla based, so we basically only have mine colonies and a bunch of helper mods and more mods to make it look nice and fancy and not much utility mods as a grave mod for example so if you die things are lost and at the moment we don't have sponge either because Azure slab is too lazy to sell sponge here for the comments hmm. I think I'm going back I'm not really good with nether got some things And the music is getting scary. <laughs> okay. Oh. I am back. Can we check? Don't we have any nether only rack and this? I'm going to do what I'm best at. I'm going to delegate it. Ah, wait. Netherrack. We can burn Netherrack to make nether bricks. We don't have to find a. Yeah. 
a yeah. fortress yeah, for if it. You're looking for another brick. Yeah, you just put it in the old furnace. Yeah, it just completely forgot that. that Nether rag and into the furnace and there we go we got here a little storage room set up it turned out a bit big but Oops. it's going to be fine there. I heard there is a a mob down there anyway I think I'm going to wrap up this episode for today a lot of things had been done we got our citizen huts here over we got the lumber check there placed in their citizen hut over there clicked upgrade on the on the town hall which was a great achievement and also nice just arrived here i think yep just just ready to to say ciao to the video as well i'm turning it off <laughs> Ciao, ciao, see ya. <laughs>